Good morning, everyone. It's Robert from On My Turntable. I hope you're having a great morning this morning. It's Thursday morning. It's a coffee kind of morning. I want to continue my look at this awesome box set. Climax Blues Band, the albums 1972 and 1976. Basically, they're. Uh, um, 6th, 7th, 8th, and ninth albums. Um, I looked at this one yesterday, their live album, their 6th release. I uh, gave it a 9 out of 10, just amazing. Um, today I want to look at this album here, Sense of Direction. Before I get into it though, please hit the like and subscribe button below. Thank you to all that have liked and subscribed so far. I greatly appreciate it. I want to continue to put great content out there to be informative and to show you guys some great bands and artists that I have in my collection. Thank you so much for everyone. Uh, Vinyl community is amazing. I love you guys. Uh, this also has a great inner sleeve. I showed this one before, but I'll show it again. All kinds of cool photos performances and just photos of the band and on the other side the CDs in the package and the track listings and then a photo of the band down below so as I said uh, sense of direction is their seventh studio release now this one, um, where's my phone? What do I do with my phone? Here it is. Uh, this one had a uh, a different cover. Uh, this is a remastered version. What I just showed you. This is the original. Sorry, you can't see that very well, can you? No, you can't see that very well. It's too much of a glare. Um, yeah, too much of a glare there. But it had, a, <coughs> pardon me, it had a different cover uh, when it was originally released. But uh, again, the uh, album was released in 1971, seventh studio album by the band, <coughs> the great British blues band, Climax Blues Band, originally called Climax Chicago Blues Band on their very first album. Uh, the album reached number 37, um, and the album charts in 1974, so it shot right up there for sure. Uh, it's another different outing from the band, um, where typically they're a, a straight-ahead uh, blues rock band. Uh, this goes in many directions again. Um, it goes from rock to blues to jazz, and then back again to blues. Um, the uh, lead playing, lead guitar playing by Peter Haycock, of course, is, is just just remarkable. Peter Haycock was uh, was such a, a amazing guitar player, uh, and I think highly uh, underrated. Um, he uh, it's just awesome, just awesome. He's a multi instrumentalist for sure. Uh, Colin Cooper, the vocalist, uh, also. Uh, plays a mean clarinet uh, during some blues tracks and uh, which really which just really works well within the album um, it's just a a darn good album I, I don't know what else to say about it uh, of course it features Colin Cooper on vocals also sax tenor sax rhythm guitar and clarinet uh, Peter Haycock on uh, vocals lead guitar slide guitar 12 string acoustic and acoustic. Uh, Derek Holt on vocals, Fender bass, rhythm guitar, and piano, and John Cuffley on drums and percussion. Um, just a super group of uh, wonderful musicians. Um, the album has uh, there's the CD of it as well. The album, I believe, has 12 tracks on it. Um, 
I'm sorry, eight tracks, and then uh, two bonus tracks on it, on this particular CD. So it's it's a pretty darn good album, as I said. Um, starts off with Amaretta, Sense of Direction. Ozark Mountain Daredevil type of sound. Powerful, powerful stuff. Uh, shopping bag people. I love Colin Cooper's vocals on that one. Uh, next is uh, Nogales. I think that's how you pronounce it. Reaching out. Not for someone reaching out for sympathy. Some cool sax playing there. Uh, right now. Before you reach the grave. Before you reach the grave. There we go. Shopping back people sure have a hard, hard time to die. slide playing and then finally Milwaukee truck and blues <whistles> chipper song <laughs> As always, I wish I could play the whole darn thing, but I can't. Um, yeah, here's the uh, the back cover as well. That's a great album. It's again, it's uh, maybe not straight ahead blues like the previous releases. Um, I love that they're a diverse band that they can go in any different direction. Uh, the playing is always top notch. The vocals are always amazing. Uh, the vocal style changes uh, with the song. Um, the fact that they've got uh, sax and clarinet and um, slide guitar and awesome um, blues 
riffs and uh, heavy bass. It's just an amazing bunch of guys and uh, fantastic band. I think I'm going to give this one again a 9 out of 10 on this one. I think you guys should check out Climax Blues Band. Definitely a band you need to listen to. And these box sets, these uh, album sets are quite reasonably priced on Amazon. And uh, it's a great way to um, great way to get a discography of a band uh, pretty quick. Because if I had uh, to get nine albums, <coughs> you know, that'd be pretty pricey uh, venture. I mean, I will eventually, because my goal is to try and get as many albums as possible. I still love my CDs, don't get me wrong. Um, and I've got a big chunk of CDs. But um, just cool to have these, these guys on album as well. Um, I've yet to do so, but I'll get there. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed. Um, I better show you what I was going to do, re the, the review I'm going to do next. This is the Stamp album, their eighth release. I'll be doing that one uh, uh, possibly tomorrow, uh, definitely on the weekend. And um, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. And uh, everyone on the vinyl community, have a wonderful time. Take care. Bye-bye now.